I'm Adam C and welcome to my McDonald's and Reading Japanese Meats. We are here to capture cars arriving. Oh, look at that. There's a PS13 in turquoise. Yes, I'm wearing my Adam Seafest hoodie. All details of which can be found in the video description about my car show on Bank Holiday Friday the 3rd of June. So, let's see which cars arrive to Reading Japanese Meat. Yeah. He had a scooter in the back as well. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's running a bit rich. <laughs> We can pretend that this R32 Golf is a 350Z because they sound similar. We can't really pretend that this BMW is Japanese because it's still not. And we also have the first S14 of the day as that Civic goes home. I'm trying to read my boy good, but turbocharged MX-5s are arriving as well as other content in the distance. Forgive the Volvo of its non japanese because we love a Volvo. And a Ford Pro? Wow! Now, this Nissan Lore always arrives with a blurry number plate. Maybe we shall see why later. Oh, more noises. Oh, look, there's a convoy arriving now. Check that out. MX5 is part of it. There's a couple of Beavers. It's both fine and dandy because we have a lot more Japanese cars in the distance. There's something that was revving. Oh, now, how's this for a 350Z? One of my favourites in the scene got caught up by a Volvo. There it is in Burgundy. The MX-5 has found another MX-5 to play with. It's kind of cute, little love story that. These MX-5s are on their bestest behaviour because they were stalked by a police car who was hidden. Brace yourselves for this pair. We've got the Civic Jordan and then a woman on a scooter and a Mazda RX-7. Next up is a pink Lexus getting all of the attention upon its arrival. That is beautiful in the evening sun. Very candy colour and another S14. And a Pulsar. Chewbacca's come in many forms. We got another goal. I heard VTEC. What? There's an Escort RS Cosworth. There's a BMW blowing the horn, probably because there's an E46 doing a donut around the roundabouts. We'll see it in a bit. in a bit you can see there's a convoy two s14s and an s15 and, and a few more in front mx5 and the off-white fiesta despite being pure white here they all come oh we've got some more there's a vxr8 and a few more that was a flame that was a flame i hope you see more that in the distance. Is that a Supra? We had a Mark 5 early, we've got the Mark 4 turning up now. There's an M1 something I arriving. Blah, 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 blah. There we go, that's a proper Reading Japanese car meet car. A Mark 2 Grande. Oh, hello. Good, well done. Here comes the MX-5. Familiar and regular green Zenki S14 arriving. There's an E46 arriving, someone's brought a jack. Still not too many Japanese cars here today. That sounded nice. Cylinder noises. Oh, and turbo. There you go. Fiat Coupe providing all of the sounds. There's not much else left, I don't think. So I'm going to head inside the meet mostly because I want to see that Subaru. And the light is just getting dark, so I want to see them in the lightness. Some of the eager beavers have already stood at the exit, even though cars won't leave for another hour, I don't think. Oh, I was wrong. That Cleo's leaving. He's had enough already. What have we coming up now? Some Civics together. And some MX-5s together. Welcome to Reading Civic and MX-5 
five meters. Fancy a curry. I much prefer this car park for the jack meet. Let me know in the comments what you prefer, this side or the old side. Although I never used to film the old side, it's nice to see inside the show as well as on the road. Purely because you can see scenes such as this cambered RX-7 with the pink IS behind. Those BBS LMs are spotless. Someone just did a little squeal in the background. We've got a red Civic Type R lineup. It's actually physically impossible for JDM cars to park in a straight line. Some of them have managed it. The yellow 350, for example. I'm seeing more and more MX-5s at every meet I go to. There are so many now. It's probably because they are the cheapest rear-wheel drive skiddable car in the market because all these S bodies are going up in value with everything else. But some of these MX-5s stand out amongst the rest but further down we have a white Toyota Chaser. Do you know why? I'll let you comment why. Well that is also matching the car next to it. The wheels are the same colour you can see so we've got the PS13 that we saw arriving as well next to the Lowell with the blurry number plate. The scooter is doing a burnout on the back of the truck. That's fine. This is what a Reading Japanese meter is all about and has always been about. People collecting together in a car park, talking cars. This is nice. I mean, there's quite a few cars I didn't see arrive because McDonald's took a while with my order, like the Graphite Grey R32 GTR. Not forgetting the Ignis Sport. There's a lot of activities on the road. There's also an S14 for finding the revolutions for the crowd. S14 is manoeuvring around the car park, finding the optimum space. There are probably loads of other S bodies to park next to. There's probably about a dozen of them of S14s and 15s today, most of which are 14s. So I'm not complaining. That's very green. The 350Z is parked and posed and bringing Neils back as well. Oh, I think, yeah, sounds like the S14 is doing a burnout. It looks like he is as well. That's why he had the blurry number plate earlier. We're learning. A blurry number plate means later on, bits happen. Now, as bikes are making noises on the road, the crowd are all kind of gathering around the cloudy area, hoping to catch death. <laughs> yeah, people are coughing. Oh, that's potent. He's flashing, which is usually frowned upon in public, but no one seems to mind. We have found another lineup of S body. He's got the S14, the S15, another S14. That's got an RB. Is it 26? 25. 25, I've almost. I've actually been allowed to sit inside one of the S14s. Oh, for that's some additional body. content. <laughs> oh, that'll suit me nicely. Hmm, I like it. Taste this one's Mazda Red, although the lighting is getting dimmer. Oh, you guys got the handle to hold on to when you're going in a straight line, officer. Oh, we're doing a fitment check now. <laughs> is that a fail? I don't that's know. A, no. I think that's a pass. It holds. I think the left hand side should be tighter. Let's see if it's full of yeah. Yeah. Are you saying it's not symmetrical? Oh, it's, a panel, it's a panel gap checker as well. <laughs> What's it like that side? <laughs> even better. Even better. No, oh, even worse. Oh, oh, poor little dude. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the colours inside the S15 as well. And by the way, here is the aforementioned RB25. Very clean engine, Ray. The crowd is passing for the 370 Nismo to roll by with its neons actively bringing the neons back. That is a gorgeous red. Oh. So there is now a crowd forming because there's a VQ revving. So everyone's wandering over to have a look at what's going on. I've never heard of VQ rev before. You probably haven't. It's rare to happen which is of course a lie. The blurry plated lol is having a go as well. It's a massive revolution competition. We have begun. Yeah, the crowd is going to go down. 
ch I have to go see the chaser again. What we're seeing here is proof that everyone loves the white chaser. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Someone's trying to ask the Lexus. He's trying to gather a crowd around him now. The crowd doesn't. A kukaraka horn. Go to it. It's fun. <laughs> I think everyone's calmed down a bit now. It's quieter, but the crowd is more central now, so we can have a look around the outside, maybe? I wonder if anyone's going to flock over to the Civics revs. He's currently warming it up, isn't he? That's what's happening. The R32 is leaving, they're trying to chase it. Catch it! Go! I shouldn't be encouraged, he might die. He survived. He actually caught the 32. Oh dear. The 32 might be the first of the departures, which might have to be a separate video. And there's a police car at the exit, straight away. They know what's up. They've camped. Here comes the R32. the police but that wasn't the speediest departure we've seen here before so it will be rather fascinating to see whether the police stay there for the entire evening normally they get bored before we do um, someone's alarm is going oh no we're good we're good this is a nice scene no nothing wrong with this few baby revolutions and a few bigger ones they're catching more content I hope that's an unmarked police car. Oh look, a chicken. Now as the evening is getting darker, it's the neon lights and the interior lights that stand out. For example, this Subaru has multi-coloured neons. Everyone, not everyone, but the majority, well not the majority, a lot of, well, some of the cars are bringing neons back and that's good. So more revs and pops and bangs are going on in the background. I'm more concerned about the colours. You've got the green, you've got the pink. This is an RB25 Subaru and rear-wheel drive converted. So it's a drift car. You may recognize it from a previous video of mine many years ago. Uh, there's more pops and bangs. We have a late arrival at PS13. Here we have the Ford Probe. Large spoiler on the back in white next to the Volvo. What a duo. Oh. Supercharged Mike is revving. Started another revolution competition. Did someone do a... Oh. Do you reckon it was the bike on the back of the bed of the truck that did the burnout rather than the truck itself? I doubt it because there's no one on the bike. That would be impressive. Something turbocharged is popping revs and flames and, and doing some bits. Who is making... I think it's a Subaru. It sounds like a Subaru. An actual Subaru engine this time. The crowd are gathering. Oh, that sounds good. the huge flames of that Subaru. We've now got some slightly smaller flames from a Mini. The crowd has gathered. It's all good fun. It's part of the scene. We like flames. It warms us up as well. Either the police have left or we have a very optimistic crowd anticipating content, but we've got a couple of cars about to run me over and that's about it. So I shall venture back. Oh no, the police are still down there. Camping, making sure everyone's on their best behaviour. So I'll conclude this video now, so look out for the cars leaving. Ring that bell when you subscribe so you can be notified for when it releases. I'm about to lose my balance, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights about all these meets that I do. But for now, thanks for watching.